guys and welcome back to my channel today I will be showing you clips from when I went to both the punk rock flea market and the Columbus flea market so I will insert clips of that in here at some point maybe now or in the end of the video middle of the video somewhere I'll insert them Anyway, I wanted to come on and show you guys what I got at those flea markets. So let's begin. So at the Columbus flea market, I saw this harness for my animal. I have a obese chihuahua and you would laugh, but it's actually unfortunately due to a skin condition that he has. He is on steroids and that makes him quite large because he likes to eat. So he is unfortunately considered obese. So we have like one harness. My mom sewed in some elastic bands on it to help him from licking his paws because the allergy season is very bad this year and his allergies are very bad. and. He gets really itchy paws and it gets to the point where he licks them so bad he turns them raw and makes them bleed. And he does not have normal paws like a normal dog. He has very sensitive skin so he doesn't even have to lick his paws for that long and they just instantly get raw. But I digress. Since he has one harness made to be like some sort of a contraption to help keep him from licking his paws, I figured he would need a new one. And this one has a handle to help control the dog and the bands to snap the harness on and off are very flex fit to control around the neck and the back. And then it has reflective detailing. So if you walk the dog at night, People will see you and the dog. Then my sister and I were looking at phone cases and every time I go out, they never have a phone case for my phone. Anywhere I go, I always have to buy them. Either I custom make them online or I have to order them like off of Amazon or something. So they actually had a few phone cases for my phone and I figured eventually when I decide to switch out phone cases I'll have a nice new one to switch it out to. So it's purple and it's got really pretty like glitter in it and you can just like turn it around. Sorry about the ring light reflecting. I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 so if you were wondering what phone I had. That's the phone I have. I think my sister and I ended up spending $10 on each of our phone cases, so we ended up getting them for $20. And the harness was $21.98. Let me see what else I have in my bag of wonders. Oh! At my job, there are some days where I wear outfits that do not have pockets on them meaning pants that don't have pockets on them or sweatshirts. If I wear like a regular shirt and a pair of pants that doesn't have pockets on them, or let me rephrase that. I don't know if women struggle with this issue as much as I do, but if you ladies have this problem, please let me know. It's very hard to find a pair of pants that has more than two pockets on it. And when I say that, two pockets that they usually have are the ones in the butt. Why that's the ones in the butt, I don't know. But I prefer to have 
a lot of pockets on me at all times. But that doesn't happen. So for that event, I found this fanny pack that's clear. And it's got two pockets. The one you can fit your phone in and the other one you can just put other stuff in that you might need. So I thought this would be perfect for work. And it was only $8. I wanted to buy one online that was $15. So I ended up spending only $8 on this, which I thought was a really good deal. I know I bought more things at the flea market. But from the looks of it, I don't think I did. Oh, um, well, I bought my mom a pair of uh, stud earrings because my mom's been wanting a pair of earrings for a while. So I treated her and I got her a pair of earrings because I wanted her to have a nice pair of earrings. And then my mom decided to go and get me, my brother, and my sister these visor clips to put in the car. And it says, daughter, please drive safely. And she only spent like four fifty on it. So she got me, my sister, and my brother one to put in, my, in our cars, which I thought was really cute. And that's everything I got. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it is not. The last thing that I got from the Columbus Flea Market. If I just, I had to unbutton this first because it was very cold today. Uh... Nick and I went to the beach and we had dinner and it was really nice and we went to a very nice restaurant so I wanted to kind of dress up nice and it was supposed to be warm outside but it ended up being cold where we were at. So the last thing I got from the Columbus Flea Market is this really cute like strap, not strapless but you know spaghetti strap romper and I'll stand up to show you as you can see it's like this really cute shorts like I said it's a romper so you know I think it's really cute they had it in other colors too but I liked this color the most so this is the one I got now for the punk rock flea market my mom and my Uncle's girlfriend didn't like it as much as my sister and I did, but it was still a fun experience and we enjoyed ourselves very much so. And while we were there, obviously we purchased some things. So we got some, we got different kinds of, um, not peanut butters, but nut butters. So we got a dark chocolate almond butter, pistachio butter, cashew butter, regular almond butter, and cinnamon almond butter. So just like a variety pack here, it was only 20 bucks. Uh, I got it because I wanted the dark chocolate almond butter and my mom wanted it for the cashew and the pistachio butter. So I got this for us to have. And maybe Nick might like it too, I don't know. We went to one stand and they gave us a bunch of stickers for free, but nobody took them, so I'm the one that has them, but I'll figure out what to do with them. I might just throw them in my scrapbook that I have that I haven't touched since the beginning of COVID, but I'll make something work with these. Then my sister and I went to this stand that did like custom jewelry and stuff like that. So they had a bigger size of these, but I like the smaller one because lately I've been wearing bigger earrings and they end up falling out of my ears, I guess because my earlobes are small and the earrings are big and they just slide out. So unfortunately, that's what's been happening with me. So I decided to get a small pair of earrings and they have little crescent moons in them and they are coffins. I thought they were really cute and I plan to wear them. We might be going to emo night in Atlantic City next month. So I think I'm gonna wear these for that. 
Um, then we saw this, and I fell in love with it because I thought this would be perfect for our wedding, our wedding, essentially. So I saw this, and I looked at my sister, and I said, wouldn't this be cute at Nick and I's table, like our sweetheart table, you know? Or even behind us, but I think our, obviously our reception is going to be outdoors, so I don't think there's really going to be a behind us. So this will probably be at the sweetheart table, which is, I think, again, this is going to be a really cute touch to that. So we were going to look for like a picture frame to put on it and then put it on a stand. And I think that would be really nice. So it's a sandworm. If you don't know the movie Beetlejuice, this is one of the monsters in the movie. And I have earrings of sandworms too, so I thought this was really cute. And I said, why not? Let's get it and use it as decoration for the wedding. Then, got two pictures. One, I want to display at the wedding, obviously. The other one, I want to display when Nick and I get our own place. I don't have enough room to display it in my room currently because there's a lot on my walls, as it is. But, you know, obviously both of these pictures are going to come where we live. But this one specifically... I wanted for the wedding so it's a picture of Jack and Zero it's so cute and it's this custom photographer guy he does pictures and he does like photography photos and it's actually really cool and I just love this because obviously I mean if you guys don't know you're gonna know now our theme for our wedding is Tim Burton and the main Tim Burton movies we're trying to incorporate into our wedding is uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, because that's my favorite movie. Beetlejuice, that's another one of my favorite movies. Corpse Bride, which is a good movie too. That's it. Mainly those three. But mostly Nightmare Before Christmas and Beetlejuice theme to the wedding. So that's what we're trying to do there. And then my last picture that I have is this really cool skull picture. Uh, the guy who took this picture, he made it to where all of the skulls have like some kind of a picture inside their eyeballs, which if you look really closely, it's stained glass. And he said to us that he took this picture in some kind of a tourist attraction, or not tourist attraction, but like touristy spot that is in the Czech Republic. So I thought that was very interesting and I, I really like it. My sister pointed it out to me and she said, isn't that cute? Cause you know, obviously she knows I like skulls. So I was like, oh yeah, that is really cute. And the colors, because it's like green and purple, it's kind of like iridescent colors. So I thought that was really nice. And one last thing that I'm going to show you guys. I didn't buy this, but my sister-in-law's sister made my sister, myself, and my mom a painting of my nephew's footprints. And it's actually really cute. Elijah is my nephew. That's his name. And it says, Elijah loves Aunt Shelly. Because you know. I love that little man, even though he cries the blues when I hold him. But <laughs> I love him anyway. So I'm going to end the video here. Because it is getting late. It's almost 12 o'clock in the morning as I'm filming this. I would like to take off my makeup. Get ready for bed. Because... I thought we were going to go to the punk rock flea market again today, but we ended up changing plans and doing something different. So no flea market today. But anyhow, I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure you have your notifications turned on so you know when and what I will be posting when I do. And on that note, guys, I hope you have a good night, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.